Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a flip through with me for my 2019 bullet journal. I did start this journal. This is the Scribbles That Matter and it's, I forgot what size this one, but it's just a regular size that a lot of bullet journal artists use. And I did start this again in January 2019. And I, it is about to start October 2019 so I used up most of the pages as you can see abused it and just it's time for a new one my new bullet journal is actually going to be the Archer and Olive this one is a maroon it has a rose gold rose in the front of it which I thought was going to be something different my first bullet journal ever was actually the Lordstrom black one and then this Scribbles That Matter is a navy blue one and next it's going to be the Archer and Olive Rose Gold one. So let's get started. So opening up to the beginning of my bullet journal, I do have my name right at the top and I put in a sticky note for my email address just in case it did get lost. And to the side, I like to get an index card and put my key right on the side just so I can look through it and remember what icons I use for what task and for completed, started, and all of that stuff. So I like to have it here right on the side. Then on the next page, I did use the same cover page that Amanda Rachley did, which was Hello 2019. And then the index right over here, as you can see, I did not keep up with it. I stopped right at March. At first, I did a really good job of trying to put in the pages and the title of the pages, but it just didn't work out for the kind of planner or bullet journal that I did need. On the next page, I do have my grid station cheat sheet that I got the idea from Amanda Rachley again and I still to this day always go to this page just to refer to how many dots and spaces there are in the journal and you would think that after doing bullet journals for about two years that I would know how many dots and spaces there are but I don't so this page will always go to good use then right over here, the 2019 at a glance, I really did like having it, but I don't use it as often. So what I think I might do for my next bullet journal is have 2019 at a glance on this page, and then my future logs right on the right side, but make it more smaller condensed because right over here, I don't use it as much. As the months went on, I stopped using it. I mainly use it for birthdays and for school and work schedules so I think I'm gonna make it smaller and then just have it two pages my 2019 at a glance and my future log. The next spread is a 2019 goals and I had separate boxes for each goal. I forgot who I copied this spread from but I did have separate boxes. One was for personal goals, word of the year. I think this one was from Amanda Rishley actually, this spread. Then I have finance goals, college goals, by this time next year where I wanted to be, travel goals, work, and fitness. This one was a quote page. And right over here on the right is my ideal habits. So I have it separated by morning, evening, weekly, and monthly. This one I am going to add again to my next bullet journal. Maybe change up the spread because it was really good to remind myself what habits I wanted to keep up with. This spread I am going to keep but change up the spread or the layout. It is things to check out. And I had four different boxes. I had movies, TV shows, books, and places. So I might keep 
the places, TV shows, and the movies because those ones I tend to look for more often. And then books, I haven't read books as much as I used to, so I'm just going to get rid of the books and keep the three, and we'll see how that turns out. This one is probably my favorite spread all throughout the bullet journal and it's the My Year in Polaroids. This one I also got the idea from Amanda Rachley and I am going to bring this to my new bullet journal. It goes all the way from January up until this month which is September and it's just nice to keep up with the memories and all of that like in June. I went home to visit family. February, one of my best friends came to visit. August was my birth month, so this was a really good year and a really good spread. These boxes are my favorite kind of boxes to do for my calendar monthly, so I'm gonna add that to my list of my favorite spreads. And for most of the monthlies that you will see, You'll notice that I always have at least goals to do and then some of them do have a highlight part but these are always nice to have so I, whenever I go to this spread I know okay these are what I need to do and this is what I need to focus on for the month. I tend to use most of the same spreads throughout the bullet journal because it's easier for me and within the month I like to have some of the same spreads so I can just focus on what I need to focus on which is school and work and my internship so you'll see a lot of the same spreads all throughout and then this one most of the one that has paperclip are actually my work notes I ended up using my own bullet journal for notes and stuff this is another monthly spread that I really did like just because of how open it was and I don't always write too much onto my month because I save most of my due dates and stuff into my weekly spreads so this one was just nice and freeing to write and it was just really cool to have then this is my self-care uh, tips spread probably one of my favorite spreads that I have because it just has simple things that I need to do to remind myself to be kind to myself and to care for myself so things like taking a nap or journaling being present and staying inspired trying new recipes face mask so this one I am definitely going to add to my new bullet journal just to give myself those kind of reminders This is probably one of my favorite mood trackers just because it's in the shape of a heart and it has that kind of space theme so it was really nice to have and it was really cool so. This kind of layout for the mood tracker is my favorite just having boxes. Recently I've stopped writing the numbers and just circling in. And this one you'll see a lot more is a double dutch door probably one of my favorite spreads just because i like having the events right over here on the side and then big enough boxes to write down all of my assignments and all of that stuff so march was actually a very chill month because we had spring break and I didn't write too much for the spring break spread just because I didn't have a lot going on except work so you'll see some of these as semesters go on there's some empty <laughs> boxes but you know what that's okay see I got lazy during that last week of March I didn't even color in my roses now this one was a really cool habit tracker to do I ended up doing just three that I focus on the most. I know I wrote more at the bottom, but these three were the ones that I resonated with the most. Mm -hmm. 
this is cool to have having a playlist spread but I found myself not really wanting or interested enough to do it on the following months but it was still nice to have so I can remember what kind of music I was listening to that month. Yeah, these upcoming month weeks or these last two weeks of April were my finals week so I had already known what I needed to do but I didn't follow through with it in writing my bullet journal but that is something that I want to work on more for my next bullet journal is trying to make lists and put it onto paper so I know exactly what I need to do. This one was a really cool spread. This one was a very dormant month because I had ended classes and all I was doing was working but I still tried to do my best to do different spreads and whatnot. So I didn't finish my mood tracker just because I was home most of the month probably from the 4th up until I think it was the 27th or 28th and so most of the time I was just living in the moment. So these were all the places that I wanted to go to. I didn't go to all of it because it was just mainly too many places to go to and these are mainly restaurants that are new to San Diego that I wanted to try but didn't get to so it's okay I can always save it for next year I did something simple for the monthly spend so I did just a uh, numbering off and then just task for important things to do and as you can see there was not much to do because it is summer and all I did was work so again with the single page spreads which wasn't too bad it was really nice actually so I might end up doing that more often on the months or the weeks that I don't have school so it was really nice to play around with this and again probably one of my favorite themes is suns for August for my birth month so this was really fun to do and I just loved it a lot so this was the week spread that I accidentally did upside down but you know what I just decided to still go through with it because you know what it's summer I don't really care but it still turned out really nice and then this was the week where I believe school started and then these were some fall cover pages fall semester 2019 and then a quote from Michelle Obama for me education was power which is something that I resonate with a lot and this was a really cool spread that I am going to continue on to my new bullet journal this is a four month spread of like small tiny boxes but in here I'll put things that are due or places that I need to be for my work for my internship and for my different classes and of course I blocked it out but September is blue so it goes for these months October is right here and a little bit of November November continues on to here and December is right here so it's the whole semester all in two pages so I'm gonna bring this onto my new bullet journal and just continue with it, see how I like it because so far it's going pretty well. Then here again is my schedule and I left out gym right there. So in the morning I've been trying to go to the gym at 5.30 and then work and my classes all throughout the week. And then right here was just all information of my classes and location and professors, emails, stuff like that. So. I actually do like this and I still go to this page just to remind myself okay this is what I need to do in the morning which is gym and stuff like that and this one I like a lot and I've been trying to keep up with it it is a different kind of assignment tracker so I'll show an empty one which is on this side so these are my different classes or my courses and then 
right over here at the edge is if I went to that class or not. And then right here on the sides, it says which week it is, and there's 16 weeks of my semester, so. And this is probably one of the cutest themes ever, which is Gudetama, and I just liked it a lot. So, so there are some months where I will do double page brain dump because I think there's a lot of things that is on my mind, but I'll end up not using it. So I think what I'm going to do from now on for my future brain dump page, if I feel like I need it, is just to do a single page because, come on Casey, you don't write that much anymore. And that's it for my bullet journal. For through the next couple of pages are just my work notes, my internship notes, and all of that. So that concludes this 2019 or from my January 2019 to September 2019 bullet journal. I did use a lot of the pages and I'm very proud with the progress I made within this bullet journal journey that I've been through and excited. Very, very excited to start my Archer and Olive bullet journal. I'm gonna have this new bullet journal set up, up for you guys after I get this clip through uploaded. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye!